Hi, it's Karen from Living Our Dream Homestead, where today I'm going to be making a banana cake. I had some bananas that were really, really ripe. I'll show you here as an example. This one here is not ripe at all, but this one right here, I had some like this, really, really squishy. Like if I would just squish like this, it would explode. So I already smashed some down here for you. So I put in here half a cup of unsalted butter, uh, which was softened. You could also microwave it a little bit in there. You don't want to have it too runny there, you know, too melted. I also put in a cup of white granulated sugar. It was cane sugar again. And to that, we're going to go ahead and I, I beat it up with the mixer so it's kind of light and fluffy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add in two eggs and they could be medium or large eggs and we're going to go ahead and add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract again i use pure vanilla extract uh, i just think it tastes better so we're going to go ahead and add that in here And I'm going to go ahead and beat that. Okay, that looks like it's all done there. Now we're going to go ahead and add in, I've got two cups of all-purpose flour. I've got one teaspoon of baking soda and then I have a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our banana, well, to our butter mixture right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that and just beat it a little bit. You could just use a spoon and stir it. Okay, and then you can tell it's pretty thick. The uh, beaters were having a little trouble getting through it. And to that, we're going to add four bananas that have been smashed. As you can see, these are pretty, whoops, these are pretty, like I said, they're pretty ripe. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in there. And again, you could start with a spoon. I'm just going to go ahead and try to incorporate it. seems to be pretty good all right we're back I've got it all mixed up right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a 13 by 9 by 2 pan I've greased it with unsalted butter you could use shortening and then I put some flour on there that way it won't stick to the pan so we're gonna go ahead and just pour that in there all out of there okay I'm just gonna use a spoon and kind of spread it around in the pan That looks pretty good there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a toothpick and make sure that it comes out clean and then it should be done. And then afterwards, I will let it cool and I'm gonna go ahead and ice it with a cream cheese icing, which I will put in after this video. Well, the cake is out. It's been 30 minutes. And I'm gonna show you, let's see here, I'm gonna put the toothpick in the center, right there, and it has come out totally clean, so the cake is done. It has browned very nicely. And now I'll go ahead and let it cool, and I will make a cream cheese icing. 
Hi, we're back and I'm gonna make the cream cheese icing that's gonna go on our uh, banana cake. And here's the banana cake, it's all cool. So I put in half a cup of unsalted butter and I put it in here. And then I took in two and a half cups of powdered sugar. I actually took the sugar and I put it through a sieve first to get out any of the lumps. And then I added it in with the butter and I beat it until it was light and fluffy. And now we're gonna add in one 18, or excuse me, one eight ounce package of cream cheese kind of softened in there. And we're gonna go ahead and add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna beat that. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and ice our banana cake with the cream cheese icing. I didn't add a lot of sugar. I don't like my icing just to taste like pure sugar. I would rather it taste like cream cheese. So that's why I cut back on the sugar. Uh, usually people put in anywhere from three to maybe four cups of sugar. Again, it's whatever you like. I prefer mine to taste a little bit more richer with the cream cheese icing, you know, where I'm tasting that more than just a sugar. The icing almost looks a little bit yellow here, but once you chill it up, it actually turns like white color. So let's see if we can put that on there. And if you want more icing, like I said, you could add more sugar, which will make it thicker too. I like just a little bit of icing. I don't like a lot piled up and so that's what we have here's the banana cake this cake is really really moist um, I've made it for my family and they really really love it uh, it's not a cake it, it it is not dry by any means so um, it's really good just you could either eat it plain again without an icing or you can have it with an icing um, I like it with the cream cheese icing. You can also do like a buttercream icing if you'd like. But uh, here we go. I cut a piece. It looks pretty, pretty thick there. Mmm. And that icing. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Needs a glass of milk. If you like what you're seeing today, please hit the subscribe button down below. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead. I hope you have a good day.